What's going on everyone? Brad Abbott here and welcome to episode 7 of Gear Stories. Today we are talking about the limited run Fender Satin Stratocaster. This guy was made in Mexico. It is not a US Strat, but to me you get a lot of bang for your buck with the Mexican series of Fenders. That's why I picked this guy up. We're going to go ahead and get right into this. So before we get all the way started, I would like to kind of do a little bit of shameless self-promo. I got my very first full-length album coming out November 13th. I would really appreciate if you guys gave it a shot. And if you like it, share it with your friends, add it to your Spotify playlist or Apple Music or whatever it is that you like. It will be available on all major digital streaming platforms. So you can listen to this thing wherever you want. Or if you want to download it to your computer, you can find it at bradabbottmusic.com. And, of course, I'm on all forms of social media, at Brad Abbott Music. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube. That is a big one that really helps me out. You'll see the videos first. Be sure you click like on the videos. I would love to have you along for the ride. Let's get right into talking about the Satin Purple Mexican Strat. Let's start off with the story of me getting this thing. So I saw one of these in a local music store for sale used probably in like 2013 or so. And I didn't jump on it when I should have. I ended up thinking about it for like the next week or so. I did go back to the store. It had already sold. So a little while after that, I still had my heart set on getting a satin strat. And I was looking on the used market. I finally found one. It was really tough to find. So I called them up. And of course, it had sold. Or so we thought. The dude said he couldn't find the model number or the guitar. So he wasn't able to help me out. So, of course, I was determined. I continued my search. I was looking on eBay and Guitar Center and everywhere. So finally, saw this one, this same one, same listing, again, three days later. Because when I first called and he told me that it had probably sold, he also informed me that the website's not always all the way up to date on when things sell. So even though it's listed on the website, it's not actually at the store. Well. Seeing it three days later, after he told me that, I was like, you know what, I'm calling again. So I did, luckily I got somebody else. The dude found it, it like instantly, in like less than two minutes, dude was like, yeah man, got it in my hands, looks good, don't see a mark on it, you should totally buy it. And I did, I was like, absolutely, send it to me. It wasn't even that expensive. So I grabbed it, I was so happy that I did, I finally found my satin strat. The thing I love about this guitar is you know most of the fenders you see well most of any electric guitar you see has a gloss finish so the satin finish kind of stands out a bit and then you combine the satin finish with a dark purple color and then a black pick guard i just think it really goes well it makes the chrome pieces stand out like the output jack and the bridge you know the lines are just you know really nice and classic and i just love this thing i love the satin purple with the black pick guard and i love a fender strap so i fell in love with this guitar the second I put my hands on it. So I used this guitar a lot back in the day. So the entire Redefined album, anything that I played on electric guitar was played on this guitar through the Fender DeVille amp that I'm using to record this video. And this guitar, I think, served that EP really well. Uh, it played a really big part in a song called Numb uh, and, and some other parts in that album as well. And, you know, I just, I really love this thing. This thing has seen the stage a lot. I know I played Diesel Club Lounge back when it was still called Diesel Club Lounge with this guitar. Uh, it's seen the Smiling Moose, the Mr. Roboto Project, all kind of places. The Keynote Cafe, countless times with Sour Loon, uh, and once with Villa Manor. Actually, the Redefined EP release show I played with this guitar. It was, uh, I, I remember that because I remember having it as my Facebook profile picture for the longest time me at the Kino Cafe with this guitar celebrating the release of Villa Manor's EP. There were some awesome people on stage with me that night too, man. That was so much fun. That's a good memory, like good solid gold memory right there, man. If I could go back to that day, I would party so effing hard, you know? Anyway, needless to say, this guitar has seen a lot with me. And, you know, from recording to 
playing live, it's been through it. You know, countless band practices, a little bit of beer spilled on it, you know. And it's got the marks to show it, man. Like, if you look, the pickups have, have started to rust. And you know, actually, all of the metal on the face of this guitar has started to rust. All the screws on the pick guard, the magnets on the pickups, you know, they're just starting to tarnish. It is what it is. It doesn't really bother me. It just shows signs of age, and I kind of like that. I like a guitar that looks like it has a history. So, let's go ahead and get into the specifications of this guitar. The Made in Mexico series are normally made of alder. I do believe that's what we have here. Of course, I already stated about the color, but we got the satin purple with the black pickguard, which I really love. It goes on to have a maple neck, which if you look closely, actually kind of has a, a, a kind of a deep flame to it, and I love that. It's, uh, it looks good from behind the guitar and a rosewood fingerboard. The other option, or the other common option, I should say, is the blonde or maple fingerboard, which is actually just another, uh, the maple fingerboards are a one piece kind of deal with the neck. I love the simplicity of the Fender Strat. You know, bolt on neck, you can unscrew anything and replace it. Strats are awesome for that very reason. Of course, one of the reasons you get a Strat is the versatility. So you have three single coil pickups, and a five-way selector switch, which has all kind of different things, picking the electronics, and a lot of people even modify these too. So you can change the pickup configuration, change the switch configuration, but as the switch configuration goes, here we go on the Mexican Fender Strat. All the way towards the bottom of the guitar, you are using your bridge single coil. The second position up, you are using the bridge single coil and the middle single coil. At this point, I'm gonna stop saying single coil because all of the pickups are single coil. In the third position, or the dead center position, you're using the middle pickup. In the second from the top position, you are using the top two pickups, or the neck and the middle pickup. And in the pickup closest to the neck, or the neck position, you are using the neck pickup. Now that we've got all that out of the way, let's go ahead and give this thing a play. Quick disclaimer, this is my first time doing a review on an electric guitar. I'm not 100% sure how the sound is going to turn out, and you might not even like this video, which is totally cool. If you don't like it, leave a thumbs down, but if you do, leave a thumbs up, click the subscribe button. That shit really helps. So, as I said earlier, this guitar had a huge part in recording Villa Manor's Redefined EP, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with a tune from that. For this, I will be playing in the bridge position, so the switch is all the way to the bottom. Here we go. I'm gonna hit my Fender foot switch here. This is the semi-dirty channel, I guess you would call it, and this is a song called Lynchfield's Finest. <laughs> rocking on this thing. I actually don't play it as much anymore. I focus on acoustic playing because I'm usually playing solo, but I miss being behind this guitar. This thing sounds awesome for rock music. All right, so to move over to the clean channel, we're going to go ahead and go to the neck pickup, the switch all the way up. These are some chords from a song off of the debut album called Arson. Thank you. 
apologize for the fact that you can hear the snare drum in the background. I should actually probably take care of that, but I'm not going to. Just kidding. There. All right, that should handle the, the snare drum being annoying. So what if we move to the middle position? I find that's kind of good for some bluesy stuff. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a lead player, so if you want to laugh at me when I do this, you can feel free to go ahead and do that, but I'm going to do my best. So you can ask anyone, right? <laughs> kind of cool right so in the second position up from the very bottom that's what I use to record the riff for numb off of Villa Manor's redefined EP I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you guys real quick <laughs> guitar action I'm gonna bust out a solo that I haven't played in a very long time and actually I played with this very guitar on the record for this song if you go over actually if you're on YouTube right now just type in Brad Abbott one headlight you'll find me and my buddy playing a cover of one headlight where I bust out this guitar and I get a wind machine on me and you know my hair is blowing in the wind and I'm playing a lead guitar solo on this thing lead guitar really isn't my specialty by any means but we're going to go ahead and hit the one headlight solo. Let's go all the way dirty for this one. And then I'm going to switch the pickup all the way up to the neck position and see what happens, right? <laughs> this thing a little bit in this video which I will admit I've neglected this guitar for a little while haven't really played it much since the recording of how are you uh, you know that finished up in you know, about the spring anyway noticing it has a little bit of fret buzz but you'll have that so this gal needs a setup I'll be taking care of that in a couple of weeks so it is what it is hopefully I was able to give you a pretty decent idea of what this guitar sounds like and what it's all about uh, I love a Fender Strat, man. There's, you know, there's nothing quite like a Strat, and they are an awesome instrument, very versatile. I love the look of this one, and I will admit the eyes kind of did most of the shopping on this one, but it did not let me down in the feel or sound department, even though right now it does need a bit of a setup to take care of some of that fret buzz that I'm getting in the, uh, in the higher octave here, but it is what it is. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. That helps me immensely. YouTube.com slash Brad Abbott Music. That is also my handle on all major forms of social media. So catch me at Brad Abbott Music on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And of course, BradAbbottMusic.com. Throw me on a playlist on your favorite streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music. I'll be on all of that. I am already on all of that. But there's a brand new album coming November 13th. You can already hear the singles, but the whole album is there November 13th. So be sure to subscribe wherever, put me on a playlist wherever, share it with your friends. I really appreciate you guys more than you will ever know. So thank you. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.